Welcome believers all over the world. This is Tim and Vicky Campbell. Hello. Oh, I know we look a mess. It's dark outside. <laughs> it's dark in this car. Listen, we've been trying to get home to get with you guys to be on time, but look like we got caught in this uh, Thanksgiving traveling, getting back home and what seemed to be a six hour drive looked like it's gonna turn into a 10 hour drive. So we want you guys to pray for us, but we do wanna pray for you before we get off the air. I'm sorry, we're not in the place and, and we would have probably stopped somewhere and, and um, found a place to do the recording and do the live, but we didn't bring our equipment because we anticipated being home by now. Uh, you're not in a film. Don't be trying to hide yourself. Look at it. Okay, I was looking at it. I was and so, I know you probably can barely see us, uh, <laughs> us being chocolatey as we are and being nighttime. And our, the car we have doesn't have the right lighting. But we just want to let you know, let you guys know we love you. And we will definitely be back on the air um, uh, next Sunday. Definitely have some things that we want to share with you. Especially talking about things that we share with Macomb, Mississippi. Uh, talking about taking action and then our, expanding our belief toward God. And getting ready, I like what I, as I was traveling, we was listening to Bill Winston, and it says the thing that we as a church should do is not church as usual, but dare to preach things that will cause people to have faith and to believe God for the miracle signs and wonders once again, that we can get out of this comfortableness and this normalcy of just being normal and comfortable with the word that we're teaching because it keeps us safe because all of us want to do things that we know that we can do ourselves, but God wants us to get out of that box and begin to believe him for things that only he can do, that we can begin to see the impossible, the impossibilities. And so we know that with God, all things are possible and with God, there's nothing too hard. And so we need to get to the place where we can start seeing those things happening again in our life. And the only way that's gonna happen is we got to begin to expand people's revelation. And the only way you can do that is through faith. And that faith come by the word of God. So we need to remind ourselves that he's still the God that parts the Red Sea. He's still the God that rained manna from heaven. He's still the God that can raise for a man from the grave after stinking four days. He's a man that can speak the word and, and, and send that word and, and see miracle signs and wonders. And so that's the that's the venture that we're on and the road we're gonna travel, especially getting ready for this year, 2020. We definitely wanna see God move tremendously in our lives. So again, we apologize for not being in the place that we should be in to minister the word. But you pray for us as we pray for you. You see Jaria back there in the back, I see him back there in the back, back there. He's back there crunching on some uh, crunchy tacos. Uh, we are just trying to make it home safely. It looks like everybody had it on their mind to travel this Thanksgiving and we got caught in. I mean, one time we got caught in, we didn't make it home to about 12 o'clock. We left left round 10 and didn't make it out to 12 accidents and traffic. Mm -hmm. But we're planning on making it home before 10 o'clock because we got somebody, from, some of us got to work. And so we'll be getting up and going to work. So again, we love you. Uh, we pray that you'll forgive us for this, up, uh, this, this time that we won't be able to share the word, but know this here. Uh, absence make the heart grows fonder so you'll be glad to see us next time and so we want to pray for you right now and you continue to pray for our safety as we make it home we know that god has always made the way straight and he has his ain't charge over us but you know what there's always an enemy lurking to kill still and destroy so we thank you for your continued prayers of covering so let's pray for you father in the name of jesus christ of Nazareth, well, we thank you for this viewing audience that our lord i pray that your hands will be upon them lord we give you thanks for the thanksgiving holiday oh lord and how you kept many safe god and we pray that as many gather together with friends, family, and loved ones, God, that they had a wonderful time and that relationships were rekindled, God, relationships were strengthened, God, Amen. and that, Lord, there was fellowship like never before and that your people, Lord, gave you praise and magnified you in all of those things and gave you the glory and acknowledged you in all things and that, Lord, that you could begin to see things happen like never before, how people were encouraged, God, even some heal in their emotions, in their minds, in their spirit. And, Lord, I right now pray for this audience. I pray that if there be any sick, that they be healed from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, that every fiber, every being, part of their being, God, be totally healed. All sickness and disease be eradicated. And if there's any, God, that need a financial blessing, Lord, that you will bless them tremendously, God, that they'll begin to speak the word and stand on the word and believe, God, that even as you did it for Jabesh, that you'll extend their borders, oh God, and cause them, Lord God, to live a life that they won't have to be ashamed. And that, Lord, that you will meet every need and supply it through your riches and glory by Christ yes. Jesus. We do give you the glory. We do give you the Amen. honor. Thank you for being the God who you are, to stretch forth your hand from heaven, to heal you'll deliver and set free and show yourself so strong in our lives as you make provisions for every need that needs to be supplied and we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor we lift up our savior jesus christ and we acknowledge that he is lord over everything and we do give you the praise for him 
and we just bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Amen. So you be blessed Amen. the rest of this day. Get prepared for the week and know that God is with you and with him you can do all things. We love you. We'll see you next Sunday. You want to say something? Say goodbye. All right. We'll see you on next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Sorry for the lighting. We're just chocolate. That's all. <laughs>